Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading for the month of November. So Pisces, how are you guys doing? My dream chasers. <laughs> you guys, I'm getting so much messages for you that um, I was like, you know what? It's early in the morning, but it doesn't matter because we got to do the Pisces reading. Okay, so Pisces. What I keep getting for you guys, and um, I keep feeling this, um, you, your patience are getting tested, and this could be with work or something, you know, something you, you are creating, and your patience are getting tested a lot. But there's like this, 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 um, this one course of direction you should sort of um switch you know should make a change in just the way of approaching something and it's really just a minor thing but once you switch that thing around some, the energy is flowing again i feel a society has caught up with you and um your mind is getting sort of blocked from the free way of feeling and thinking that you guys need and have you know that ability to 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 look and feel beyond things sorry and to just play the role well you know play the role well inside society and do all those things that are seen as social and normal and stuff but then you guys have this other room you can enter and that other side of you that is going beyond that it's like that universal thinking that really going outside the box and create something that is new and it could help society move out of their fear state of mind i'm hearing so it's really your magic pisces it's it's your magic and i'm feeling lately you guys have been a little bit like like I said like sort of blocked by too much outside forces you know too much news or too much people surrounding you that putting you in this you know box and stuff and and you guys just need that free freeing up of that energy it's like that free way of thinking like free your mind man <laughs> like this is really what I'm hearing like free your mind Pisces let's go you know and I feel that that will be a definitely a very important magical key like don't do what other people are doing do you you always have the ability to do come up with something that is unique and that is you Pisces so don't follow the crowd you're not meant to you're not supposed to and you know this because you do things differently so that's really what I'm getting it was like a very strong message for you guys so let's look at this card because I got I got this card yesterday in a reading for Sagittarius I think and it's really at the moment everybody's dreams like if you are, are um, a heavy dreamer you know you get dreams a lot and stuff but this is really like the energy right now everybody that I know that have intense dreams are contacting me on a daily basis because for some reason they always come to me <laughs> They know me and they they always, uh, they keep sending me messages and stuff, voice notes and everything about what they dreamt and what it would mean and like all those things because right now we're getting so much downloads and messages through our dreams and uh, for you it's not any different. So that's why I'm not surprised that this card shows up again. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna read it to you guys. Your subconsciousness constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. So, it's your soul's calling. You know, if you feel like you've been dreaming heavenly, like, yes, that is the energy at the moment. But it's also really, again, it's like, it's your soul calling you. It's literally like the universe picking up the phone and your higher self is calling you like, listen, we got a little lost out of here. We're not supposed to do this. We're the Pisces collective. Like we got to go outside that box. What might help if you feel a little trapped? And this is because 
Like you guys know I have a lot of cans in my chart, but also I have Pisces in my chart. And what sometimes helps so so good with me personally and um to really uh go outside that whole daily day and that daily life and that routine is to look at documentaries about um the universe so about maybe planet earth itself in a way it's got developed since day one and or maybe you can watch a documentary about the universe and the space and stuff and to just really have that visual view of outside you know that energy like outside that daily visual those daily visuals so 3d visuals you know and sometimes watching those documentaries really help me to put things back in perspective and it really calms down when i feel like my stress levels are going up so it's just a small minor tip but it might help you out just try it if you feel trapped try and watch stuff like that because it makes you feel freed up i feel that that could really help you guys as pisces energy so try it it might might help <laughs> okay so Interesting reading already, right? <laughs> Let's see what else is coming up for you guys. Let me see, put it on the light a little bit. <clears throat> what do we got coming up for Pisces? I do feel that something you've been waiting on for a long time will come in, in Scorpio season. I also feel that you're going to make decisions based on... Um, based on how things feel and with that saying is that it could be that you're dealing with a relationship that really is heartbreaking and is not not healthy for your soul and that you're finally making a decision to get up and leave and start to um, heal yourself by yourself for some time that could be a possibility it doesn't have to be for everybody so, a little closed off because apparently <laughs> you guys don't want to show me any cards. There we go. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Feeling a little overwhelmed. Feeling like you're not completely sure which direction to take or what, what to choose, what to do. But the good thing about this card always is that, listen, we got options over here. You, That's a luxury. You know, you can pick and choose and the way you look at it is is that is like i said like free up your mind you are in control on how you look at things you can take your time and make it a decision you don't have to do it tomorrow or today i feel like some of you guys are a very crucial moment in your life and you have to make a decision like which direction you're going to take and you feel like if you take the wrong direction you might not be able to um, to get back, you know, to that same place where you can have all those options. You feel like you, you really, yeah, you just want to feel victorious. So, great energy, actually, because we have the options and we have you getting recognized for the hard work that you've done. Six of Wands has not shown up for some time, so I'm glad that showed up in your reading. I'm going to see what that means. Getting that something that makes that, that you wanted for some time, like I said, it could come in Scorpio season. And it's beautiful because you're showing up as a Queen of Cups. Back to letting letting yourself guide through life based on what feels good, what feels right, what makes sense to the soul instead of what makes sense to society. It's not for you, Pisces. It's not for you. It depends. It depends on how much um, energy you have in earth. You know, in the earth energy, like how much you have that in your chart. But I 
the show me that try to compete with and for something that's not even for you it's not on your you know frequency it's something you're stepping out of yeah definitely wow look at this Pisces something exciting is about to come in November for you guys something that makes you feel good something that gets you out of out of this energy of the tree of swords right the disappointments the not feeling in place not really knowing your direction feeling like you have to compete with all these people and all their goals and dreams and stuff and knowing that what you have to offer is unique so you don't have to compete with these people you just don't and you're starting to realize that and you instantly move forward because when you feel like this literally feel like this and this just know that that is literally your soul telling you like listen this is not for me this isn't for me it's not the thing i gotta move on i gotta move think outside the box i need to first value uh what i got in this cup you know because you got something unique to offer to the world but you have to first grasp you know, the value and how special that thing is for yourself before you can actually show up in the world with that cup, you know, and have people recognize you for it. I feel this month so crucial when it comes to uh, reconnecting with your nature. Everything you have to offer is already within. You just have to connect to it. Could be getting some communication from a Leo this month. It doesn't have to be a Leo, but it's an energy. It's somebody that's getting a lot of recognition. Some Somebody that you admire as maybe the lifestyle they have or the way of thinking they have, the mindset they live in. And it's actually really um, helping you to free up your mind. Yeah. So there we go. We have Scorpio season. Scorpio season is here to get you out of this and get you out of that. Scorpio season here to, to really literally take you by the hand walk into the dark side you know walk into the shadows and look at the things for what they truly are so when you come out back into into the light you have a, a better understanding of what the whole is like what is it is um what the entire bigger picture is and that takes away your fear energy and puts you back into the light I'm also seeing you shifting your energy a little bit of where you put energy in and are you getting way more or a goal orientated if they put it like that about where you put your energy and what is important and what what do you want to build and have one or two goals set and work towards that one goal and work towards that second goal and not just six seven things at one time and whatever that day is dominating and want the energy the most is getting all your energy no you're taking back that power you're taking it back you're thinking okay i, I do want to have this and that and that in my life i want to um have that or go through that or learn this or that but it doesn't have to be all at the same time because then literally i don't get anything done so focus on what is important what do you want to grow and what do you want to develop and what do you want to stay for the rest of your life you know what what is your dream what is your true dream i feel like you got a little sidetrack there which is totally fine because definitely not easy right now as society is and the energies are intense, but it's testing you. It's like, listen, do you really want it? I also got this for you. No? Okay. Oh, you really want this? Yeah, I really want that. 
but I, I could also offer you maybe this cup, you know, it's also also really nice, also a nice person. No, 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 no. I got my eyes set on, on this life, you know, where I can develop and where one day I'll become a grandma or grandpa or something. No one wants to put energy towards something that is, is, is valid and is in alignment with me and my uniqueness and the person that I am and that makes me a better person. Like that's literally what I'm hearing. It's like when you go for a relationship at this moment in time in your life, when you are in a relationship with maybe a Scorpio or a Leo or another water sign, you want that person to, to have a sort of a mind state that helps you develop that side of yourself that is actually the key to success, the key to your um your door right the door to to that room that you can enter as a pisces so feel like once you get that once you you start to focus on your self love because you have to value truly value your your worth and your self worth once you start focusing on that, once you start putting energy towards getting healthier, better sleeping schedule, um, developing your skills and certain things just for you and yourself. Maybe you want to learn to cook a certain way. Maybe you want to become a vegan, maybe vegetarian, like you just want to, you know, stop eating meat or stuff like that. Everything that's focused on you and bettering your lifestyle and bettering yourself or uh getting yourself uh letting yourself get less distracted with other people's things that's the moment where things start moving really quickly because that's literally the key like look look at that you know communication so like i said it could be something you've been waiting on for a very long time and this person is finally stepping up because whatever is coming towards you this month when it comes to love offers and stuff if it feels right, it is definitely right. And it's definitely going to stay for a long time. No more settling for less. Less than something that is in alignment with your spiritual journey, your spiritual growth. It doesn't have to do anything with money or materialistic, you know, development. Right now, that is not the most important thing when it comes to choosing a relationship or, or choosing your new life pathway, right? It is what is in alignment with you, what makes you feel you again. What's coming up? I love how Scorp we can't hide from Scorpio energy. I'm just going to say it like this Scorpio season. We can't hide. Like I said, just let it take you by the hand. Oh, that's a little bit too much cards. Wow. You see, let it take you by the hand and let it show you what is in the shadow right now. You know, what have we storaged over there? We got to go back and look at the attic, right? Um, we're doing that. I see you guys doing that. So look, you are definitely um, facing your fears and facing your darker sides, which, and you're going to embrace those sides because that's also a part of you that makes you you, that makes you unique. If we only look at things we did right in life and things that made us, you know, uh, get appreciated by other people or the good things, no, you got, you got to embrace everything. Yes, you maybe made mistakes or things that... Um, that made other people sad or made yourself sad or, you know, self-sacrificing and stuff like that. And all those energy that were maybe sometimes, um, or things we did when we were a teenager, you know, it's embracing things and not judging that is what is the key. So you guys going through a very, very powerful transformation. What's coming up for Pisces after they face the fears? You see, that is what it is. It's healing. Healing during, like, once you get to that, like I said, you get to what the point of what makes you you, what makes you unique, what makes you feel good. Um, That's the moment where you get out of that energy, energy starting to flow and you're starting to really work on that one goal, that one or maybe two goals you have and 
after reaching that goal, then you will see what's up next. It's one by one. And that's what I see for you guys during like one Sagittarius energy is coming up, you know, in November. I see you working again because you got it back. It's like that fire, that flame. So if you start to create again, you know, you guys, I love me some Pisces art, like the art created by Pisces energy mind you know whether your pisces moon sun arising i love it so if you are finding yourself you know creating again please feel free to send me some of your art or your poetry or your paintings or your songs or anything because I, I really 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 love pisces art so don't tell the other people i'm just saying <laughs> so feel free to send me an email with that i love to see that and Building a new foundation based on your spiritual truth. It's sometimes so hard to escape reality. What is, has been created as, as reality? What has been divined? Right now, we have major brands and stuff that is that if you... For example, wear a t-shirt from the Primark or something or anything else, uh, Walmart or whatever <laughs> you guys said, a blank t-shirt with something on it, you maybe get 36 likes, right? But if you will put on the same, you know, type of shirt with the name Supreme on it and you drink a cup of coffee, you get featured everywhere. It's so based on superficial things. I'm not judging it. I'm not saying that anybody's taking... Um, place in it that I'm judging at or whatever is just not in alignment with my spiritual truth but it's hard when that is constantly what you get fed literally on your feed every single day and that seems the thing that works more and more people are giving into that and seeing that as the truth as reality but it actually brings you further and further away from your spiritual truth I for example I'm just going to get a little personal because it might help somebody um, I was, I was, um, I'm going to try and give you a very short version for a very long time. I got caught up in that and I'm not saying like I was buying Supreme t-shirts all the time because I wasn't that rich. Okay. <laughs> but my whole life was centered about having, um, you know, cause I was living in Amsterdam and it's very expensive to live there. So literally you're living check by check, but I was working almost seven days a week to have a house with two bedrooms. Cause that's really what I wanted. And to, and that's like, for example, the same amount of money to rent a two bedroom apartment in Manhattan or something, you know, it's like expensive. <laughs> um, and I wanted the right car and I wanted this and I got all those things for myself and by myself and I was working really really hard for it but I felt so empty inside at one point because my work uh, that I did and I had two different jobs and both of them were really focused on the sort of the outer appearance of energy and I was of course always um, busy with my tarot cards and all those things for years but that was really something personal for myself but I even lost contact for that for a couple with that for like a couple years and um because I started doing tarot cards when I was like 14 or something so it's for a very long time but I felt at one point something happened in my life where I really had to look at myself because I had a car accident so I, they literally like the universe put me down <laughs> on the brakes like listen this is not for you this is not your spiritual truth and I want you to figure it out so it took me over two years to really, you know, get back to where I was and figuring out that that really did not make me happy at all, like at all. And then I got more unhappy because I realized I was chasing and searching in something and I've worked so hard to figure out that that was really not making me happy at all. So I felt even more empty inside. But I got closer and closer by to my own spiritual truth and to my happiness that at one point I found myself not even having those extreme expensive things anymore and feeling so much lighter and I remember that I had a storage room and I stored stuff there and one day I came into that storage room and I was like who 
like I had all these boxes, I'm not gonna lie. There were so many boxes there, like over 40 or something. I was just looking at the boxes, like it was a big wall of boxes. I was looking at it, I was like, who keeps all this stuff? Like I wasn't there, I haven't been there for like three months or something. I walked into that room and I realized that every single thing in that room I have not missed for three months straight. Like I wasn't missing anything. Yeah, maybe something, you know, like something practical, whatever. I was like, oh, it's in the storage room, but it's not a big deal. So I was looking, going through these boxes and I literally kept everything. For years I kept all these things. For, for, for what reason? Because I wanted to hold on to things, because I wanted to believe that I was really living the life, because I was trying to convince myself that very thing, that that was what, what, what life was and what gives it meaning and everything by getting all those material things. I'm not saying that material things don't have emotional value or, or can help get through things or whatever. I'm just saying that that was really not my spiritual truth and once i disconnected i i gave so much to charity i gave i cleared out the whole entire room like the whole entire storage um place in two afternoons like two full days actually i spent there and i threw everything away that i that i couldn't give away and i was like wow i've never felt better i've never felt lighter and this is literally me it's my spiritual truth like it's me <laughs> and why I'm sharing this with you guys you know like I said it's like creating from that inner knowing that what is truly important and what makes you you and you unique without all these other stuff without all these people on Instagram or whatever on social media here surrounding you or people from the church or people whatever you know really just you and your unique sense of creating and it doesn't have to be like you doesn't have to be and you don't have to be in the arts or something it, it could just be the way you 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 show up the way you talk to people the way you communicate what you communicate about that's all you know in alignment with you so that's so beautiful. I think that you guys are going through such a major change and 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 shift at the moment, which could see for other people a very minor shift, but it's the key. And that's like this year about still, like 2018 will be coming in alignment with that. And then from there on, I really think that 2019, before Pisces season even, this happens this happens because this is your name is on this okay Pisces your name is on this I want you to grasp up that and take it in your name is on this so if something isn't working and something's make you feel like it's this knowing okay this is not it for me this is not it I need to feel like this because I'm a Pisces queen or a king okay <laughs> doesn't matter if you're a queen or a king but anyway this is the i think that this is what i wanted to talk to you guys about i think it's it's like um enough for you to work with if you have any questions or you want to share something with me feel free to leave it down here in the comment section i always love to read you guys comments so and like i said feel free to send me any type of art that you've created <laughs> and um yeah thank you for watching and i will see you guys next month Okay? Bye-bye, Cs. I love you guys. Bye.